Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about the computer hardware and software. The basic introduction about hardware and software is explained in very simple terms. Kindly watch this video until the end. Hardware refers to the components of a system that you can touch and see. They are the physical pieces that make up the device. The device could be a computer, a phone or any other machine. The physical components of that device are called its hardware. Computer hardware could be generally categorized as external hardware and internal hardware. The components that connect to the computer from outside are the external hardware of the computer. Internal hardware resides within the computer's case and is essential for the system's operation. Some of the external computer hardware components are monitor, the display device, keyboard, the input device, mouse, the pointing device, speakers, CPU cabinet. Remember, CPU cabinet is different from the CPU chip. Please check our previous video about the CPU for more understanding. Printer, plotter, headphones, webcam and many more. Comment any other computer hardware components that you are aware of. The hardware components that reside inside the computer's case are the motherboard, the CPU chip contained on the motherboard, random access memory that is the RAM chip, cooling fan, internal hard disk drive. Comment any other internal hardware components that you are familiar with. Computer software Software are the programs and apps that you use on a device. It is the set of instructions that tell the hardware what to do and how to complete a task. Computer software can be divided into two categories, the application software and the system software. Let us try to understand how do the application software and the system software work. First of all, the users interact with the computer through the application software. The only purpose of application software is to help users in doing specified tasks. A variety of application software, also called as apps in smartphones, are available to help you manage tasks, browse the web, maintain notes, do online research, set alarms, do online shopping, enhance photo images, play games and many more. Application software is installed on the computer based on users' needs. The application software then interacts with the system software through system calls. System software includes highly technical programs that directly interact with the computer hardware. System software acts as a bridge between the computer's hardware and the applications that we use. System software is installed by the manufacturer itself and the computer cannot run without the system software. This is just a recap of what is said previously. Application software is any computer program intended for end user use. The purpose of application software is to help users in doing specific tasks. A few commonly used application software are word processor, spreadsheet software, presentation software, graphics software, web browsers. Word processor is an application software that allows users to create, edit, and format text to documents. These software programs offer features for text manipulation, adding images and tables, checking spelling and grammar, thereby helping users to produce professional documents. The homepage of a word processing software, MS Word, looks like this. Microsoft Word, Google Docs are some examples of word processing software. Spreadsheet software enables users to organize, analyze, and manipulate data in a tabular form. Any spreadsheet software includes features like cell-based data entry, formulas for calculations, charts for visualization, and functions for complex data manipulation. Some commonly used spreadsheet software are Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. The homepage of MS Excel looks this way. 
Presentation software allows users to organize information into a series of slides and display slideshows. These presentations present information in a visually engaging way for various purposes such as business proposals, educational lectures, or project updates. Some commonly used presentation software are Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. Graphic software enables users to create and modify visual images, photographs, and animations. Graphic software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator can be used for creating logos, icons, and also for creating multi-page layouts for magazines, books, and brochures. Web browser is essential to search any content online. It allows users to access and view web pages on the internet. It translates web pages which are written in code into the human readable text and images you see on your screen. Popular web browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge. Simulation software allows users to experiment complex scenarios in a virtual environment without actually performing that operation. This powerful tool allows engineers, scientists, and designers to understand system behavior under different conditions. MATLAB and Simulink are tools for predicting system behavior through mathematical models and block diagrams. FlexSim is the most powerful, capable, and easy-to-use 3D simulation software. It lets you model and improve existing and proposed system. System Software System software is responsible for directly interacting with the computer hardware and managing its internal functions. It provides a platform for other software. System software is responsible for managing the computer resources such as its memory, processors, and devices. Various system software used in a computer are operating system, device drivers, firmware, Utility software, language processors. Comment any other system software you know. An operating system is the most important software that runs on a computer. It manages the computer's memory and processes. It also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. Without an operating system, a computer is useless. The operating system acts as an intermediary or a bridge between users, applications, and the computer's hardware. Popular examples include Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Device drivers allow the operating system to communicate with and control specific hardware devices such as printers, keyboards, etc. When you decide to use a hardware device such as a keyboard, a request is sent from your computer's operating system to the device driver. Now, the device driver acts as a bridge or a middleman. It converts general commands from the operating system into specific low-level instructions that the hardware understands. All hardware devices like keyboard, mouse, network adapters, printers rely on drivers to communicate with the operating system. Firmware is a software embedded in hardware devices that contains the instructions for the hardware to work with the operating system installed on the device. It is essential for devices to start up, perform basic operations, and communicate with other hardware. Common examples include the BIOS in a computer and the software in your smartphone, printer, or router. Firmware is also embedded in a day-to-day -day use modern appliances like washing machines, refrigerators, etc. BIOS is the set of instructions essential for booting up the computer. BIOS is a firmware stored in ROM, read-only memory and mounted on the motherboard. Now let us just to summarize the common differences between the application software, system software, hardware and software. As said already, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Adobe Photoshop, Google Chrome, MATLAB are all examples of application software. Microsoft Windows, BIOS are all examples of system software. Application software performs specific tasks. System software manages all the computer resources. Application software works only when user triggers it, whereas the system software works whenever the computer is on. Application software is installed based on user's need, but the system software is installed by the manufacturer. These apps are visible for the user, 
The operating system and other system software are hidden and locked from the user. Computer can run without any application software, but a computer cannot run without the operating system, device driver, firmware and other system software. This is just a recall of what said already about hardware and software. Hardware are the physical components that you can touch and feel. Software is the operating system and other application programs. Hardware and software need one another to function. A hardware without a software is of no use. A software can do nothing without a physical device. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have helped you understand the basics of hardware and software. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative computer tutorials. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.